guys, so I'm going to do a video um, right now about, uh, I'm doing a video request because I made a video yesterday about um, video special requests and um, Sassy Sarah 38 asks me, hey Melissa, my request is this, how do the people in your life, your wife, family, friends, cope slash deal with the fact that you have an eating disorder do they let you deal with it on your own way or do they pull you up on it it's a good question Sarah um, actually my family and friends they've gotten a lot better with me having an eating disorder um, at first for a very very long time when I first developed an eating disorder my mom had no idea how to help me at all, um, nor did my sister. So the way my mom helped me was she put me into counseling, um, which was probably the smartest thing ever um, when I was 16 years old. And I thank her to this day for doing that because if it wasn't for her putting me into therapy, I probably would be dead. Um, and that's not even a joke. It's not even a lie. It's 100% true. Um, my mom, it was very hard on my mom, um, and it still kind of is. Like if I drop weight or um, she sees that I'm not eating much, she doesn't get on my ass about it. Like she used to always get on my ass about it. Like if I wasn't eating, she'd be like, oh, I made you, you know, um, vegetable stir fry and it's in the fridge um, you know or I made you this and it's sitting on the counter waiting for you to eat it she used to always make stuff for me and leave it places to see if I was eating it and um, sometimes I did I did eat it but a lot of the times I would purge and get rid of it because I would feel guilty and horrible for actually eating it um, now since I'm older um, I'm never really home much, but when I am home, my mom still likes to cook for me. She likes to even cook for me and my wife because it's her way, I guess, of just kind of making sure I'm still eating, I guess, in a sense. Um, my sister, on the other hand, never really understood, and to this day, I don't think she really understands about what it means to me, um, and how about how, like, how it's really not about, um, the weight, it's more about control for me, and I don't really think my family fully really understands that, they think that I just want to be so and so pounds, but that's not the case at all, um, they never enabled me with my eating disorder, that is one thing that they never did, um, they did get on me, uh, they did uh, a lot of times back when you know I first was diagnosed and stuff like that and my mom went to lengths of like literally sleeping with me because I was so skinny that the doctor really didn't even think I would survive because I had no meat on my bones I wasn't eating I was starving myself and my mom was petrified so she knew that she really couldn't do anything, um, so she slept with me at night time to make sure that I was still breathing and still alive. Um, and then finally she put me into therapy, and I'm still in therapy to this day, but I really haven't been going. Um, I haven't went in probably like three months because my therapist is really expensive and um, I just don't have the money to be in therapy right now so it's it's kind of hard um, my wife she doesn't she supports me in her own way um, I don't really know if that makes sense but she doesn't enable me but she supports me I guess um, she just started reading some books on eating disorders to kind of learn about them um, because she didn't really, I guess she didn't really understand either. Um, I 
guess she never really understood why somebody would want to starve themselves or why they would want to purge their, their food. But, um, I guess she lets me deal with it on my own way. I would say, though, my wife has been a, has been a huge impact on my eating disorder. Um, and most of it is all for the better because my wife is the cooker in the relationship and I don't cook. So my wife will make dinner for us and seeing how she makes dinner, then I eat because she's cooking. So we eat dinner together and it's, it's good, you know, um, because I think that if she didn't cook, I probably wouldn't eat, uh, which is not a good thing at all. I don't like cooking. I don't like being in the kitchen. I don't like dealing with food at all. Um, so I try to like stay back from that. So she does the cooking and we sit down for dinner and we eat together. So that was a really good thing that we did together, you know, um, is we'd have dinner together and that actually is a really good thing in our relationship. Um, the past few months, my wife has actually lost a lot of weight, um, because she was doing triathlons and a couple other stuff that I don't really want to get in into. But my wife actually lost a lot of weight, and now she's very thin. Um, and it's hard on me because I guess seeing her so small reminds me of when I was so small. And we've talked about this, and you know, I told her my feelings about her weight, and she's trying to put some weight back on, but. It's hard on me because it's just hard because I used to be really, really skinny and really small. And when I look at my, my wife, I want to be like her. I want to be her weight size and um, I want to be that skinny. But I know lo logically that it's not good to be that, that frail. Um, but I, I've came a long way within the last few years with my eating disorder. Um, I do fight it every single day. Every day is a battle. Every single day. Um, and it will be for the rest of my life. I don't like being around gatherings with food, so the holidays are really always stressful for me. Um, to sit around and eat with everybody because I just don't like it. I don't like to have to be forced to eat. And I know the holidays are always difficult for anybody that has um, an eating disorder. So I hope I answered your questions um, is the best that I could. Um, if you have any more, please send them my way. If you have any more video requests that you'd like me to do, let me know. Um, oh, and I'm gonna end this on a positive note. Starbucks is doing a buy one, get one drink from today to the 20th, from two to five. So if you go there between two and five o'clock, you can buy a drink and you get a drink free. So I encourage you guys, like, you know, if you love Starbucks as much as I do, go there um, between two and five from today to the 20th and get a free drink. So I will be sure to be doing that with my wife after she gets out of work. All right, peace and love and um, Great auditions, guys. Um, keep them coming. I love you guys. Take care. Be kind to one another.